Good morning, Clove. You want to eat? Are you hungry? What's up guys? It's Kay. I am a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. The kitten is eating her food, so apologies <laughs> for the noise. Um, I have a day off today because it is a Friday. It is December 2nd. This will probably be the first actual vlog for Vlogmas. The other ones are more of a sit-down pre-filmed video. Totally fine. There are no rules when it comes to Vlogmas. Um, the name of the game is burnout basically <laughs> so it is what it is um today since i have the day off from my job i am going to do shipping i only have two things that are going out that have been paid for on ebay i talk about both of them actually in my haul video um from this past friday i don't know when this vlog is gonna go up probably saturday we'll see um but in friday's video i talk about those two sales one is an ibex men's um full zip top and that one sold full price on ebay for 48 dollars within half a day and the other one is a new with tags soft surroundings like henley pullover it's a little bit thicker knit sweater it's a size extra large i think the ibex is a large and that one sold on an offer from a buyer on ebay for 27 dollars um, my average cost of goods from that mega thrift haul from black friday thanksgiving weekend was five dollars and 48 cents so i'm happy with both of those sales especially so with the ibex but after that i will probably hit up a couple thrift stores and then after lunch i'm going to be meeting up with one of my friends from high school and uh, i'm gonna go to the thrift with her as well and kind of you know show her behind the scenes what i do in the thrift store what i'm looking for that kind of thing um hopefully that'll you know help her get started into thrifting for resale i know she does have a poshmark closet right now i will ask her if i can include it and if so you guys will see it at the bottom of the screen um but she's mostly just been selling stuff from her own personal closet uh she's on a similar kind of like debt free journey as i am so we're gonna go to the thrift store i will probably then come back home to get some listings done probably do some editing on this vlog and uh see where else the day takes us uh, my daughter will be back from her dad's around seven so yeah this is just going to be kind of like a day in the life we'll do some shipping we'll do some sourcing we'll probably do some listing and yeah that's about it so with that said i'm going to take my vitamins eat my breakfast and drink my v8 juice like i do every single morning and then we shall get the day started okay so i have my two packages ready to go yes these are the shipping hip holiday mailers not sponsored again i always just use ginger marvin's code um and in typical k fashion i forgot to show you a couple things in the thrift haul that's going up today so i'm going to show you two of them right now all birds i got two pairs of these um they don't have their laces and insoles in because i have been washing them they are now drying there are still a couple spots on these white ones these are the tree runners size nine i may try those on and see if they will work for me um just to have like an everyday like comfortable shoe and these are the tree skippers these are a size eight um again also we're just washed um these had a little hole but the hole seems to have shrunk in the knit so you can't really tell it's there anymore um and these were not in as bad of condition as the white ones but i just washed them both together and the other thing i found was a set of three uh vintage pyrex bowls they're like a blue print i think it's called like colonial cinderella or something i will insert some photos here um i paid up for this set it was 12.99 for the three um and i haven't decided if i'm going to try them in my antique booth which we may may 
not definite make a stop at today or if I'll try to list them on eBay and sell them I just I don't like to ship breakable stuff uh, it makes me very uneasy so antique booth might be the way to go so with that said I'm gonna go get ready brush my teeth and we will head out for the day all right you guys obviously I am changed and somewhere else um, I have made it to my first thrift stop of the day a little later than expected but you know I, I'm not on a schedule today um, all I have to do is be home in time for my daughter to come home and that's about it so my day is free so we're gonna go in there I'm not sure how busy it's gonna be it's a Friday mid-morning 1045 actually as we speak um, my Friday thrift finds and vlogmas day two video is about to go up in about 15 minutes um, and I'm still a little anxious about filming in public but you know that's kind of why I challenge myself to do vlogmas because even though all of the vlogs aren't technically vlogs and they're more of a pre-filmed sit down like I usually do I am using this to kind of get myself out there and get over my fear as long as that may take of filming in public so here we go, not sure again how much content we'll get, but we'll see and we'll see what we can find. Wish me luck. I am at the store that I just found um, a really beautiful Johnny Was piece. It was $4.49 before my 30% off discount and someone had literally just put it out before I got to the store. So I'm hoping there's some more good stuff in here for me and let's head in. Hello from VoiceOver K, store number one spotted this Gucci knew it was fake but I do like to take a look just in case I see something that might just be real on the off chance next I found this Dooney and Burke little wristlet except it's missing the strap and they wanted seven dollars so that ended up staying behind and the shoes just happened to be right behind the purses and I was already in that section anyway but as you can see they're pretty bare and then I spot something that could be Rothy's. I wish they were, but sadly they are not. They're just a really bad dupe. Saludos don't do well for me at all. I've had one pair for forever and I don't think Espadrille flats are really the moment anymore. So those stayed behind. Now we're in active wear. Look at these Ed Hardy. I hate Ed Hardy, but some of it can sell well. I decided to leave those behind though. Not a whole lot of much in here for active wear, unfortunately. I do find this cool though, and that definitely came home with me. Spoiler alert, I hardly ever find that brand. This was L.O. Bean. Thought about taking it home for myself, but ended up leaving it. These are Ariat jeans, which really do well for me except I saw these last week um, and the hems were all chewed up and they were still there otherwise I probably would have picked them up to resell I usually get about $50 for those I did find one gem which you're about to see in a second in the jeans section here they are good American love selling this brand they were on my nice list Not much else though. I happen to be in the blazers for some ungodly reason. I never pick up blazers to be honest, but I figured while I had some time to kill, maybe I would try it. I saw this $225 Nordstrom, I mean Macy's, sorry, tag and decided to figure out who it was, just Kenneth Cole. And then I spot a random sweater in this section and it happened to be Arn Crafts. It's gorgeous in a size large, I believe. So, yep, that definitely came home. Hi. Now we're in tops. I think most of the store was bare because of the 30% off sale over the weekend for Thanksgiving, but I do spot this Tory Sport, which is Tory Birch Sport. I think I've only found that once before and I did take that home. Considered this torrid, but that brand just doesn't move too well for me personally. More tops. 
there's a sweater coming up that I considered for Depop, but Depop is not my best platform, so I ended up leaving it behind. But there is a gray top coming up that I instantly knew what it was from the skull. It is my favorite designer, Zadig in Voltaire. I think it was under $5 too, so even better. Definitely took that home. Again, spoiler alert. But sadly, not seeing much else, so I moved on to the hard goods. Spotted this wooden Urban Outfitters monogram. Thought about that for the booth, and I picked up this Hydro Flask that I do need to give a good cleaning to, um, but that's for personal use. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm back in the car. Um, I heard from my friend from high school that I said I was gonna meet up with, and she is going to meet me at the next store. I did find a couple things in there. Uh, I found a pair of good American jeans, a cool top. I think I showed you most of the stuff that I picked up, um, so if that spoils you for the haul, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also picked up a couple things for myself. I picked up a Woolrich flannel for me and like a really big and cozy looking Columbia fleece because where I'm going on vacation soon um, is going to be pretty cold. I know I live in a cold area, but it's going to be pretty cold. Uh, so I'm hoping to find maybe a jacket that I can easily pack, something that will still keep me warm. I do have a jacket, but it's very bulky. So I'm hoping to find that in the next thrift store maybe. Um, so we'll see. I don't want to get my friend on camera unless she wants to be on camera so I don't know how the footage will be in that store but let's go over to store number two for today let me know in the comments if I should have picked up this eBay for dummies book for five dollars maybe it will help me with my eBay business guys and my friend picked up this end table for a whole 1049 store number three in the intimate section, I had just found a buff bunny bra on the opposite side of where I am right now, and I'm about to find a second one. I can see the logo right there. I think they wanted $6.99 for both of them. This is Women's Best. I just shared this recently. However, someone ripped out the size tag, so I did not break my rule and left those behind. This is a Starbucks cup for um, West Palm Beach, Florida. Comps were around 30, but it did have that chip right there, so I left it. This is a new to me brand, Lazy Oaf. I don't know how it will do, but I did end up taking it home. I know sweaters can do well, and this is just a t-shirt. And this is a Lululemon. It does have a small hole um, but this is actually men's Lululemon, which performs better for me than women's. Love seeing things in thrift stores that I own, but now it's time to go home. All right, so I am out of my third store. I went to two different stores with my friend. Um, the first store that we went to and shopped together, I only found two things to resell. And then I got one tiny little squish bill for Clove because she's obsessed with them. They're one of her favorite toys and she just will bite them and carry them around the house. So I am happy to get another one for her. It's like a little pink axolotl, I'm pretty sure. And then we came over to the Goodwill that's down the street from that thrift store. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I don't really like the Goodwill with the exception of the Goodwill outlet, AKA the bins. Um, um, I thought about maybe going there today, but because I'm still wearing my glasses and my eye isn't 100%, I didn't really feel comfortable driving an hour plus each way. Um, and, you know, just in case something happens and my vision's just not as clear when I'm wearing my glasses because it's an older prescription. So I thought it was best to kind of stay localish. So that's what I did. Also, when I go to the bins, I bring home a lot of stuff and I am leaving soon so I didn't want to have just an influx of death pile items um, just hanging around my house taking up space while I'm gone that the cat could get into and all of that fun stuff so I went to three stores today got a few things and it's four o'clock now uh, my friend went home and I'm gonna go home and eat some lunch because all I've eaten today so far is a cliff bar 
so I'm starving and I have a leftover buffalo chicken calzone and I really want to go home and eat it so I'm gonna go home um, have some lunch I may um, read a little bit because I am almost halfway through um, Half-Blood Prince, Harry Potter. If you watch my goal videos, you know that I am reading that series. My goal is to finish all seven by the end of this year. Um, so I have to finish that one and then start seven. And the books are so big that I don't really want to bring them on vacation. So I'm hoping I can at least finish Half-Blood Prince before I go away. And then I just have to read the last book um, when I get back before the end of the year they're just not conducive to traveling and I don't have the audiobooks <laughs> um, so there's that and then I will um, list some stuff but I also wanted to talk about a couple sales I made while I've been shopping today over on Poshmark um, I also made one sale on eBay on eBay I sold a Faraday um, fish scale short sleeve shirt it's the first time I've ever found this brand um, I think I got this when I went to the garment district I don't have like my cost of goods or anything in front of me I just have what I sold but I'm pretty sure I got this at the garment district it did have some underarm staining but it wasn't anything too bad um, and I think I listed this around 35 and I got a $25 offer my cost of goods if it came from the garment district was zero because I had a gift card from Lori Tata that I had one on Instagram so happy with that and then on Poshmark I had three sales today I sold a kitten ace long sleeve pullover oh actually I had four sales I forgot I sold one thing before I left for the day and I just didn't talk about it so the first thing I sold was a kitten ace long sleeve pullover size 2 if you're unfamiliar with kitten ace it's the previous like founder or co-owner of lululemon they went and started another activewear line I've found two pieces on the same day but they've been sitting for I want to say close to two years um, definitely not more than that but close to two years I want to say and they just haven't moved and I've heard so many good things about this brand and most of you know I love selling activewear so it's really rare for me to pick up some activewear that just doesn't move doesn't really get much interest I listed this one at 45 and got a $25 offer and I decided to just go with it because I am tired of having this in my closet and I need to move some stuff the next Poshmark sale is a pair of free people we the free like velveteen pants they're a size 26 I listed these at 40 they have also been sitting for a while so I was happy to get a $20 offer even though that's half off of my listing price I am not in the habit of uh, storing things so when I get offers on things that have been sitting for a while even if they're less than I would have liked to get I will often take them so if there's anything in my closet that you like send me offers I love them um, <laughs> go for it um, I'm likely to accept anything especially if it's an item that's been sitting or something that I picked up from the bins uh, next sale on Poshmark is a new without tags urban outfitters plaid blanket scarf I don't remember how much I paid for this it was super soft and I intended originally to keep it for myself but it just I don't really wear scarves and it just didn't work for me it's not really my color I listed this at $30 and got an offer from a buyer of $20. Happy with that. It's only $10 off my list price. And then the other sale, the one from this morning that I forgot to talk about, was a pair of Sorel kids boots. Uh, I'm waiting for it to come up on my phone. It's just a spinning circle. Um, so these were a boys or, you know, young kids size 12. These are the Cub Insulated Boot, and they sold for $21. Um, that was an automatic 10% off from my Flip bot that I use. Um, and these were flawed. They had a hole, let me see if I can get the picture, in the sole of the boot. So the person that bought them had left a comment on this item um, asking me if the hole went all the way through to the inside of the boot and I just told her no it's just superficial here's a picture of the hole if you guys can see that 
um, I did point it out obviously in the photos um, and then once I told her that it didn't go to through to the inside she did purchase for $21 I don't think I spent too much on these but those are the five sales that I've made so far today nothing crazy good all you know within 20 25 dollars and that's kind of my average I guess I certainly love to make higher dollar sales okay these glasses they keep falling down my face obviously I love to make higher dollar sales but you know bread and butter is good for me I have no problem selling that stuff um, it's what I sell most of the time I am trying so hard to reach my goal by the end of 2022 if you don't watch those goal update videos uh, my goal is to make $25,000 reselling in profit um, this year last year I made 22,000 and change which is awesome for me for a part-time side hustle um, I would love for that to be more of course I mean who wouldn't but you know I'm just trying to slow growth right now find out what works for me um, I changed over my inventory system this year that was a huge win for me so it's just you know constantly trying to move forward but anyway like I said earlier I am starving so let's go home let me get some food and then we will go from there and see if I can get some listings done and uh, maybe we can pull those orders from the shed before it gets too dark because you know it's almost winter and so it gets dark and depressing really early <laughs> All right, this is not an axolotl. It's actually like a little pink crab. Um, the butt tag has been cut off, but I'm 100% sure that this is a Squishmallow, Squishville. She's got a few of these, including a black cat one. Um, so that's basically like her familiar since she's also a black cat, but this will be her toy now. She carries them around the whole house. She'll sit down, well, stand up, I guess, and swap them all over creation. Um, so I forget how much this was. Let me look at the bag. Um, this was $3.49. Um, they probably cost like, I think $6 or $7 in the store when they come in the little mystery capsules. So it's not really the greatest find, but for her, it'll give her some entertainment and, uh, make her stop driving me crazy, I guess. So it's a win-win. All right, you guys, I have my nutritious lunch of leftover buffalo calzone and paramount plus just put on uh challenge 36. i'm sure i'm going to be a gif for the next 10 years of my life it's an old season from i think a year or two ago so i've already seen it but it's now on paramount plus versus having to watch it on youtube tv and fast forward through the commercials so i'm going to watch that while i eat and then we'll take it from there so let me eat in peace i'm not into you know a mukbang or trying to talk while i'm eating having people watch me so i'm gonna do that off camera and uh, i will get back to you guys in a few What you got there, Clove? She's already playing with the new little squish. She picked it up out of her toy basket and brought it into her little tunnel. All right, guys, so my daughter's gonna be here soon um, in about 25 minutes, so I think what I'm gonna do is go in and do the voiceover for the thrift with me portion of today's video. Um, I will put on some ambient music for you guys to enjoy um, but that way I don't have like any background distractions or anything as I'm trying to do the voiceover. I already um, airdropped them from my phone to my MacBook so I'm ready to go. I just have to upload them all into iMovie and then go from there. All right, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here for today. 
No, I did not get any listings done. Um, Liv came home, we kind of vegged. I worked on editing this video. And yeah, then I didn't feel like doing any listings. So no listings today. Um, zero, I get a zero for that. Missing assignment for me. Um, but tomorrow I will list, but I just wanted to get this video done and out so that it's ready to go for an upload tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll, whirl, 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 whirl. Oh. And then tomorrow we will see what happens there. We might go thrifting. We might go to the outlets. I'm looking for a couple things for my trip. Um, we'll see, but I will definitely be vlogging some over the weekend and we will definitely go over to my antique booth. I keep getting requests to show you what it looks like right now. So I'll do one of those and we'll kind of talk about what has been selling, what hasn't been selling for me at the booth. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet and I'll see you guys tomorrow.